It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to estimate the square root of 51 without a calculator. We're asked to determine which value is closest to the square root of 51, and we're given four possible answer choices. I'm going to show you how to do this with a number line. So I know that the square root of 49 is smaller than the square root of 51. The square root of 49 is a perfect square. 7 times 7 is 49. The square root of 49 is 7. So we have a perfect square root here. So the next integer value would be 8. We know that 8 times 8 is 64. So the square root of 64 is 8. If I want to consider what's halfway between, from 49 to 64, I'm going to increase by 15. So if I add 7 and a half or 8 to 49, I'm going to get the square root of 57. So 7 and a half is approximately the square root of 57 because that is the perfect that is the square root, which is not a perfect square that's in between here. So we'd have the square root of 50, square root of 51, and so on and so forth. So I can see that the square root of 51 is very close to 7 because it's square root of 49, square root of 50, square root of 51, and I have to go all the way to the square root of 57 to get to 7.5. So I know that square root of 51 is closest to 7 out of these answer choices. That is the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.